Hello everybody, Jekyll here, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, yeah, mm, Cherry's cards. They're interesting, to you say the least. I went with a clown blade-ish approach. And with that, I can do some really cool shenanigans. When it comes to Sherry's cards, I basically played three of each. So, triple shield breaker, triple horse, triple spear holder, triple necro synchron, triple synchro dilemma, but two of each, uh, Cantormina and Baroness. I really like the shield breaker horse combination, since due to the fact that shield bearer can be searched with both heritage of the chalice and reinforcements of the army, that gives the player seven ways to search out horse of the floor and knights, and if you count horse, you have ten ways to access horse. So basically, there's no chance you don't have access to horse in any way, shape or form. Access to horse gives you access to your synchro pool, be it level 8 or level 10 with Necrosynchron. This is a very nice combo, I really like it. Necrosynchron is really decent. I really like the effect that boosts the level. Since we don't have any level 1 plant type monsters, it, it doesn't special summon anything. Synchro Dilemma basically it just sends Necro Synchron to the graveyard so we can uh, summon something. Gives us the additional tool for spamming. The Clown Blade part of the deck basically just focuses on few Xyz monsters, mostly King of the Feral Imps. Dugaris, Empty Free Doer, Tornado Dragon. With those, I can go into the F Zero Topic Dragon package, giving the deck an additional monster negation. When it comes to synchros, like I mentioned, we're playing Double Baroness, but we're also playing Chaos Ruler because it's Chaos Ruler. Dragite. This is interesting, mostly due to the fact that we have Gigabyte in the main deck as an additional extender for our Xyz place, so we can just play Dragite and have the, the spell and trap negation. We're also playing Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. This is a very interesting tech pick on my part, since it doesn't provide negation, but it provides a disruption. So whenever a spell or trap is activated, we're just going to bounce the opponent's monster, which I think is a pretty decent form of disruption. So yeah, this deck is very interesting in its execution. I really like it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Chikolo saying out. Peace!